As always, I'm here for you to give you the latest reviews. Today, we're going to be looking at the NX706. I think you guys are going to like this one out here today. This was really something. Here's a little quick look on the outside, what's in there. Remote ISO mount, screws, e-brake switch. This here's a little optical cable tab that I popped out of the rear of the unit. I'm going to show you what that's all about. Um, software disc, manual, Bluetooth mic right there. Some close-up look at the uh, face before I get into the review itself, actually. Um, total new look, totally sleek. Good change for the better for Clarion, I'll put it that way. Nice change. I like this layout on the screen. I like what I'm seeing, and I know you're going to like it too. Up top there, there's your GPS mic. I'm going to show you the back side. So here we are now at the rear side of this NX706, and I'm going to start from the left, and I'm going to work my way over to the right, and let you know what's going on back here, because you can see there's a lot of plugs going on here, and they're not even all plugged in. So let me start here. Over here, there's a quick little plug, which I've already removed. You can see... Um, if it focuses properly, this here is the optical plug. This thing is key. This is really what this whole unit is about. For me, it's it's all about what this unit has. And Clarion, I've always said, is a little bit lackluster with their EQ settings and their sound performance. I think that JVC and Alpine have blown them away and just took it and run down the field with it a long time ago. And and that's that's too bad because Clarion certainly had the capability of doing what they're done already with this unit and then some. This unit takes full advantage of digital capability and that's something that no other manufacturer is going with. This, un this unit, from what I can tell, is really more intuitive, more simplified, and just more designed for just straight up enjoyment without all the pain and complications of some of these esoteric units out there these days with just a ton of settings and features and gigors and gadgets and stuff that just doesn't do a whole lot. It's not about pure sound and keeping it simple because that's really what sound should sound like. It should just come in and out simply and sound pure. The more you mess with it, the worse it gets. And unfortunately, that's what happens these days. People just get systems, get all this stuff, and they figure they have to utilize all of it because if they're not making use of every single wire, plug, gadget, and setting that there is available at their fingertips and they're not maximizing the usage. Let me back that up. The simpler the sound system, that's always been the best sound system. Go back years and years, all the people who had the best of everything were always the simplest systems. This is simple, but it also has a great way to tweak it with the EQ settings, which I'm going to show you, which are phenomenal. Digital to the extreme. So optical plug right there. Um, that's going to be expandable. I'm going to tell you about how that's going to work out and lay out for mating compatibility and components with Clarion's uh, features in this and, and product offerings in the future in a moment. 16 pin power plug, uh, you know, nothing exciting, it's always the same old stuff. Uh, power accessory ground, you have a remote turn on for amplifier as well as power antenna. Nothing exciting going on. Also, you have a mute button and there's also an illumination uh, wire there as well. Moving along, this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. You have the, the GPS plug, which again is the same. So if you're moving up from an older Clarion unit into a newer one, you can just simply unplug your old GPS antenna. This will work right onto it. Just plug it in and you're in business. Over here, this is all different now. Over here, this here is your Sirius XM plug. Um, if you're not familiar with the Sirius XM add-on, you'd have to buy something like this, which this unit supports the SXV 200 or 300. Plug it in. Your antenna, obviously activate the account and just use it on the touch screen. Not just one but two USB ports, so you could use one. This thing supports AFLAC files for uh, the best sound of possible, flash drives. Of course, you could plug in your iPod, iPhone, Android to the other one, you run them out, so that way you'd have to have one or the other going on. You could have both simultaneously, which is wonderful. Moving along, you got here subwoofer one and two. AV inputs, you have stereo outputs for your front, Rear and subwoofers, of course. You have a steering wheel control interface direct plug right there. This here is for your microphone, which is this little guy right here. It comes with a little mounting bracket. Camera input, AV input. This plug right here I already covered. This plug right here, I don't know what this is. It's not in the manual. It's not on the website. It's not anywhere I can find out. I'm not sure what this is. It might be some kind of expansion doohickey for something I don't know no one knows if someone knows what the heck this plug is please 
let me know because I should know. If anybody should know, I should know, right? It sure is heck in Clarion. I mean, I did a review. It's fun. As a side note, I did a review for another Clarion. It was an in-dash multimedia unit. It had GPS. It was a really fully loaded unit. I had lost my mind. I loved the unit so much. Clarion. Somebody at Clarion actually called and, and uh, reached out to me. They told me they were going to give me, you know, tickets to a show. You know, some free T-shirts, a hat, bandana, uh, circus tickets, whatever the hell they were going to give me. Where the hell are my tickets? I don't work for Clarion. I work for you guys. I don't understand. I do these reviews because I want to do the reviews because I want to teach you and educate you. And the reality is I'm not going to sell my NX706 to every person who buys one. I do this because I, that's what I do. I help people and I educate people. But Clarion, if you're going to give me stuff and tell me you're going to give me stuff, give me the damn stuff. Don't just tell me you're going to give me the stuff. So moving along because I had a little fit. Not that I need to get a free shirt, but I just like people to do what they're going to say. Um, over here... You got an HDMI plug. This is going to be very important for this person who wants to use the mirror link uh, feature with their phone, Android, iPhone like me. You plug it in so basically whatever your apps are on your phone, you can run that right in there Do it on the, and control it on the big screen as well. as see your Pandora, um, all your other apps, your GPS and your Waze and whatever else you got going on. Over here, analog AM FM tuner input, the GPS plug I've already covered. Um, it's got this little fan going on and that's really it. That, that wraps it up. What else could you be looking for? There's not much. If I was going to own this unit, that's where my money would be. I would be definitely be wanting to spend a lot of time on this because, I mean, simpler is better. And digital, I haven't seen optical outputs like this. You just don't see those anymore these days. So it's nice to see somebody putting that on people and giving people an option to have true digital music. Because to have a digital analog converter, you're getting lost. And I think music should stay pure. And the guy who wants that... It's tough to beat this one. Tough to beat. Okay, so we got it powered on. And here we go. There's your home screen. So basically, this is how it looks initially. When you first power on your unit, this is what you can expect to see. All these icons are really nice. They're lively. They're color-coded because I think Clarion's really going for, again, the sophisticated you know, kind of simplified, purist type of feel. And I think that that's a, a different kind of feel that I'm seeing from a lot of other manufacturers. That's a fact. But I'm telling you something. This unit is really nice as far as customizable. If you're the type of person who likes to have customized background settings, you can import and do all that stuff. If you like to sw switch these things around on your home screen, you can do that. Really cool. Seven-inch screen, which is very nicely well laid out. Very classy looking unit. Um, bottom left, you have a Siri button right here, so you can hold that in, tell the unit what you want to do. So if you wanted to control, oh my gosh, so many things like your phone book, uh, memo writing, text messages, check email, um, control your phone, your music, get weather, control your apps. If you're so equipped with your um, HDMI cable for your mirror link functionality, that's all in there. Nav AV, which is just going to toggle between your GPS back to your AV mode. Also noting on this setting, you can do your GPS, you can also have your AV source and Bluetooth phone going on simultaneously, and you could also do front and rear zone. So you could have, say, Pandora on the front, and just, you could have a DVD in the slot feeding video onto the rear flip down and headrest screen simultaneously. If you're wondering how does this disc get accessed, they got this slick little fold down screen. Right up here is where you put your DVD. Also in here, if you click that and pull it I'll show you what's in there try to focus on that not gonna really focus but um, it's it's a micro 8 gigabyte SD card so this is what you need for your GPS so if you need to do your map updates and this is also where all your settings go all your point of interest all your recent uh, set places if you have save routes traps I mean a uh, route saved routes maps etc that's where all that stuff winds up going ultimately. Also, there's a security LED located right here on the face. So that way you can turn it on or off. So when you leave the vehicle, it has a little flashing LED indicator. If you care, you know. I think it's okay. I like it. Um, your menu button, your map, volume, and that's pretty much it, folks. I mean, that's all there is to it. And you can adjust this thing in and out. Um, Multicolor, because you're going to notice that this thing is going to start kind of like bugging out and changing colors as I'm talking you'll see you'll see that like there it goes right there you can adjust the colors it's nothing new it's an industry standard standard I've been saying that for a couple years now um, it's, it's actually in my opinion to be expected 
Now, before I get into some of the actual on-screen settings, let me just do my little background chitter chatter, which I normally do. Unfortunately, this unit does not have a dem demonstration mode, so I can't excite you with a bunch of visual arts while I'm doing my talking, but there are some definitely good points that I need to make if you're considering buying one of these units. First, obviously, there's a new design. You can see it's all laid out. As far as the GPS goes, I find it to be very much like the um, prior model. Um, if there's anything that's new about it, I don't particularly see it. I know it's 11 million points of interest. Like I showed you, the capacity on the card. The mapping looks very similar. I'm sure that there's probably some updates in there. However, if there is something that I don't know about it, refer to Clarion site and, and educate yourself on what the actual download is. And again, sh if I don't know, share it back to me. Share it with the next person so we can all learn from one another. As I said, the Siri button located right here, which lets you do all those different functions. And it's a nicely well laid out, good location for it. I give him a lot of credit. All the connections are on the rear of the unit, which I'm a big fan of. I don't like any ugly wires dangling out of the front of my unit. So I'm good with that. HDMI on the rear of this unit, that allows you to do mirror playback through whatever phone you have. Just about anything out there is going to work. Okay, so you can do um, smartphone connections right through the USB or also get the optional cable, which I'm going to tell you the model of that. So if you're interested in purchasing that along with this unit, you can do so. Pandora is built into the unit as well. Bluetooth, of course. Uh, dual rear USBs, which I talked about, so that way you can have, you know, uh, files and movies stored on a USB device, portable auto, audio player, or smartphone. Whatever you got, you got it. The GPS, which we're going to take a look at. Sirius XM, which I already explained. Uh, variable key illumination, which I already showed you with the colors changing. Um, the background images, I'm going to show you that in detail in a second. Um, also, it supports playback for the iPhone, iPod, micro SD card, and USB flash drives. It also has high quality H.264 video as well as FLAC, so virtually no loss. If you're looking for quality sound, like I was saying, virtual qu quality sound, quality sound is pretty much a repeated point on this unit, just, it just keeps coming up. The EQ, which is 15 band, it's the biggest EQ on the market today. Nothing even comes close or rivals it, in my opinion. Optical output, which is second to none. That's where this unit really shines. If you're looking to create a wicked sound system, and you want to get front stage, awesome rear fill, just awesome highs, and just to total encapsulating sound, this thing is the machine for you. There are some products that are coming out. They're not out yet. But for this unit, they're going to have what's called a Z7 speaker system, a Z25 subwoofer, and a Z3 sound field processor, which is going to work with this unit. And that's how you're going to get the full deal when you want this, the, uh, this, this, the uh, digital sound experience. That's how you're going to get it. And that's going to be coming out soon. When it comes out, I'll try to do a follow-up video because I'm surely going to be excited to see what this stuff does myself. I'm just, I can't, that, that makes me crazy. I'm just so excited to hear about it. The six channel RCA preamp outputs are two volts. Optional accessories, here we go. For the HDMI cable on this unit, when you want to pair your smartphone, type A, type A is CCA802. So that's the HDMI cable you're gonna to want to use your smartphone with this unit. If you're using HDMI to a micro HDMI, like on a Samsung or phones like that, it's a CCA771. There's two cameras, uh, both the CM CMOS cameras. There's a CC520 and a CC720. The remote control is already included. You don't have to worry about it. So it's already in there. What model this is, nobody knows because there's no model on it. Um, what else? 20 by 4 RMS. That's in a nutshell all your basic stuff. Let's see what this unit has to offer as far as the on-screen usability and see if you like what you see. So first off I want to do is go into the basic home screen so you can see that everything you could just do a lot of swiping or you could hit the buttons if you like to do it old school either way clarion is always very reactive there's no lag on anything whenever you whenever you're using anything that, that's the first thing let me get that said some of these units that are all show and no go when you get aggravated playing with them those units you just want to stare clear of like the plague this unit not like that at all trust me this unit is nice real nice so we want to go to the map um, so these are your home screens. And like I said, you can adjust what you see on here from your home screen because everybody uses different stuff. So you got USB video, DVD, Pandora, Bluetooth audio, your aux, which is analog, your camera input, and your vehicle, which is really neat. There's usually a shortcut for your front and rear mode so that way you can adjust what's going on in your rear source 
or your front and going back and forth. Well, actually your front will change automatically, but your rear, um, you could adjust right from here. So here's your front source, what's going on, what you want to see on your front screen. Say you want the camera while you have Bluetooth going on, you could do that. Say your kids, what do they want to hear? They want to watch a DVD, throw that in there, hit that and voila, they're watching a DVD, you're doing your camera and you're on bl doing Bluetooth, everybody's happy, right? Here's your home screen. Let me just touch on the map. I could spend a lot of time talking about the GPS navigation and the mapping features on this unit. It just goes on and on. So let me just get it said. I've done a review on last year's 705, the, the 605 I've done, the 604, 603, 2. I've done them all. The GPS is pretty much just about the same. I don't want to waste a lot of your time just sitting here listening tell you about GPS that's been more of the same old because GPS can only evolve so much. I mean, it's turned into a 3D um, 11 million points of interest it's not really going to get a lot more exciting than that folks so let me not waste my time on that if you're interested I'll put up a link so that way you can watch my other reviews which gives you detailed information on how the GPS works I'll tell you some of the highlights and some of the things that I didn't like so much about it because I have owned Clarion I have used them in real road trips I know exactly how they work and you can benefit from my experience in that so moving forward here is your general menu so you're going to see all your shortcuts here and then you're going to have your presets where you can lock into them. So for, for instance, your first one is your main setting screen. Here's your, your languages. These are your choices. Shortcut menu. This is what I was telling you about. These are all your choices and you can take these and you can move them. Which way you want them to be. You want this here. You want the regular radio tuner. Um, you want the GPS right here. You want your Bluetooth hands-free here. You could do all that. Switch it all up. Make it however you want it to be. Very, very cool. I like that. Makes it personal. I like that. Your hour menu, um, your hour format, your beep, you can turn it on or off. Bluetooth, turn it on or off. Um, here's some really cool stuff that no other manufacturer that I've ever seen has. Um, your Bluetooth device, your connection. Five devices. I mean, who even needs five, right? Wallpaper. These are all your images by default, or you can import your own one through the SD card. Awesome, right? Animation effect, you can turn it on, turn it off, which is super. Telephone speaker, you can adjust it so that way you can hear the other person through the left or the right speaker. Camera audio, that's a new one. No one else I've seen have in this one. So that way if you have, say, a trailer and you, you know, you're driving down a road, you hear a conk, 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 or if you hear like a chain dragon on the ground, your trailer is about to fly off, that could be a useful feature. This one has camera audio. Very weird. I mean, I, 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 could, I could see people saying, I don't need that. I would want that. I like that. That's a new feature. So good for you, Clarion. I like that. Wallpaper image we've already talked about. Illumination color. This is exactly just like everybody else has. It's, there's nothing different. You can make your own, customize it, use the default, whatever. It's all there. The version for updating because everything is firmware-based, of course, these days, right? DVD screen. You can turn it on wide so you always get a full screen. You don't have to get those black lines, which I can't stand. Your dimmer setting which is very cool. Um, this one also, you could just basically hold down this button for three seconds and shut the whole picture off because a lot of people complain that units like this have either the AV source going on or the map. At nighttime, it's too much on their eyeballs. They want to turn it off. This one actually makes it real simple. Thank thank God somebody finally figured out how to shut the darn screen off at nighttime. So in, in, in addition to the dimmer, you have auto mode off plus a manual dimmer and you could actually just get rid of the whole darn thing. So good for you. I like that one. Moving along, this is where it gets really cool, folks. This is your audio settings. Balance and fader, um, nothing really going on here visually with the balance and fader except, you know, zero left, right, you know, should I really even waste my time? This is where it gets cool. This is where it gets cool. Bluetooth audio, you could turn it on, turn it off, adjust that. Now here's the EQ, and this is what I gotta just spend a minute on. You can adjust three users, one, two, and three, okay? Look at that. Just take a look at that. That is just so wicked. So you can just go crazy with yourself. So you can just make this thing sound so amazing. You could tweak this thing with your EQ. You got the digital optical output, which don't forget, right? And on top of that, you have all this other stuff. Um, the subwoofer control, big deal. Subwoofer phase, big deal. No one uses that. High pass filter. You have... Full range, or you can cut it off at 60, 90, or 120 hertz down to get rid of your, your audible distortion and the bass to those speakers. 
or you could just, you know, cut it off that way and then use that plus your EQ, create bandpass filters, you know, just get crazy with yourself. Then, of course, you're going to have your low pass filter. So for your subs, you could do, you know, um, 120 hertz, 90, 60, or just run it full range flat through, right through your sub enclosure, whatever you want it to be. And again, I can only imagine what this digital process is going to offer in ways of sound contouring for these things to the next level. So keep that in mind. I can't even, I, I can't even wait to see that stuff. That's got to be insane. Magnet Base EX, which is basically like Clarion's version of a loudness control. Amp Cancel, which is something uh, a JVC is pretty well famous for. They're actually doing that, which is good. Not a ripoff, not, but it's good. It's a good feature. I mean, Clarion has always had stuff like that, even since back in the days, since pull-out radios, they've even had that. I don't even know if they called it Magna. I think they actually they did. They actually might have. Um, here's your GPS settings, GPS time. You can it'll auto sync, or you can just ignore it. Navi interrupt. So when she wants to talk to you, you could have it on, pop up, or could just cut it off and just have it on visually, whatever you want it to be. You got a password, so that way you can keep people from messing with your unit. Parental controls, um, which is another good thing, especially these days where kids want to get their hands on everything with the touch screen, right? Audio languages. Plenty of choices. However, there's one thing this unit does not have. It does not have the PAL uh, playback, so that way this unit will not function in Europe and overseas. I think that that would have been a good idea for this manufacturer to use because that would have really set them up in a better international marketplace to sell their product worldwide. I think that would have been a good thing. I think that they, they missed that boat. But aside from that, I mean, if you could read, if you speak any of those languages and you're an American, you know, then you're good to go. But I think that they might want to maybe consider doing that in the future. Um, subtitles, blinking LED, which I talked to you about. Source level. This is kind of like uh, Pioneer, if you're familiar with them. They have the SLA feature, which is sound level adjustment. So that way, when you go from your iPod to your radio, the radio isn't like twice as loud as the iPod source. Or when you, you know, like when you watch TV, the commercials are so much louder and it drives you crazy. You have to lower it down until your show comes back on. That's what all this is about. So you can adjust these up and down. So that way they sound nice and smooth and fluent to your ears. So when you go from one source to the next, it sounds about right to you. They even have one for the HDMI, which is new. Again, this radio's got all kinds of new stuff. Stuff that I've never seen. And Pandora. They're, they're, they're doing it, man. iPod gain, USB. Wow. I mean, damn. So we got a lot, man. This, this unit's got a lot to offer. A lot of people. As far as the sound goes, this thing is a hand down. This thing is a winner. It's got everything you could ever ask for. That EQ is just to die for. It looks beautiful. It's laid out very well. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's a real winner. As far as last year, night and day big difference. I think that a lot of the manufacturers out there can learn a lot from Clarion this year. They've done a nice one, and I think that's just about all I got to say about my review. Like I said, if you want, go back, watch my links for my reviews on the GPS in detail. But aside from that, this unit I really like. And if you're from Clarion, give me my damn shirts because I've been waiting a long time for those shirts. But there you have it. There's my review for the NX706. See you later.